welcome. This is Three Stitches Short. I'm doing a November daily vlog to try to get my Stephen West Twist and Turn MCAL done. Um, so I'm going to take you along for the ride. I did cast on and I started with everybody. Um, but life happened and I didn't get much done. I am three stripes away from finishing clue one and, uh, I'm just going to take you along with me on this journey while I finish up. I do have some additional, um, additional footage that I kind of started. Um, and so I'm going to insert all that here. And then I'll be right back with updates about where I currently am. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I went to bed early. Which obviously means now at 2 a.m. I can't sleep. Um, so I am winding up my wool for the MCAL. And I thought I'd take you along with me on this journey of knitting my own hand-dyed wool. And I just caked up this first skein. Oh my god, look how beautiful that is! Um, and guys, it is so soft. Oh my goodness. So, um, huge thank you and shout out to Lori from Arkansas Yarn Co. for sharing her source for this base. This is the 8515 base. It is so soft. Like, you can feel it soft when you're playing with it and dyeing it, but winding it up, it's so soft. And it smells like wool wash because I wash all my wool after I dye it, so... Mm, I love lavender wool wash. What do you like? Welcome back to the present. Um, I don't remember if I said this, but today is November 1st, 2022. And my goal is to finish the Stephen West Twists and Turns MCAL for 2022 within this month. Okay. Now, as you've already seen, I dyed my own wool for this one. I am so excited about this. Oh my God. By the way, look at these. Oh my god, I love these. Okay, so I got my family all matching Halloween jammies. Like, everybody does Christmas jammies, and we do that too. But how cute are these Halloween jammies? Like, I feel like a big kid, and I just want to, like, cuddle up. And so we took a jammy day, um, and everybody's just relaxing in their jammies today. Ah, I love it. Okay, so anyway, um, the Twists and Turns in Cal, I did my own wool, and... I am sitting down. I've got everything set up over here to edit the podcast episode that I recorded last night. I've got my um, podcast that I like to watch up there. And I've got my bag right here with my MCAL in it so I can work on it all simultaneously. Now, this is my shawl so far. And oh my god, I love it. Look at that. Okay. Not the best lighting. I apologize. I'm in my living room, not my studio, uh, just because my husband needs to get me a new laptop. So until then, I edit on his laptop, which is in the living room. Um, but so the colors that I dyed, this one is called Snow Owl. This one, I don't have a name for yet, but this is kind of like my signature 
color. Like, even when I'm making, more, um, like, cocktails and stuff, this is, like, the color my made teeny turns out. It's so pretty. Um, and then this is my pop of color. So these are the three colors together and how they look. I love it. And the more I see the shawl, the more I think these colors are going to be fantastic together. I'm so excited. So today I have three stripes left and my goal is to finish those three stripes, um, which is like one and a half repeats practically. And that's it. And I'll be bound off and ready for section two hopefully tomorrow. So that is where I'm at. Uh, check in tomorrow to see if I made that goal. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Love you. Bye.